Hello students, uh, this is the second video on kinematics of machinery and in this video we are going to uh, look over the various problems, the important problems that need to cover for belt ropes and the chain drives. So let me start with a problem, a shaft which rotates at a constant speed of 160 rpm uh, is connected by belting to a parallel shaft 720 mm apart which has to run at 60, 80 and 100 rpm. So, so far the problem definition is there are two shafts which are very parallel and the distance is 720 mm apart. So, the shaft which rotates is nothing but a shaft which is driving. This is the driving shaft. In the driving shaft we have the pulley 1, pulley 3 and pulley 5. So, for these pulleys the radius, different radius have been given. Okay. And uh, which has to run 60, 80 and 100 rpm. So, the various speed levels of uh, N1, N3 and N5 has been given. The smallest pulley on the driving shaft is 40 mm in radius. This is the driving shaft and the smallest pulley is pulley number 1. And the radius of pulley number 1 is 40 mm. So, determine the remaining radii of the stepped pulleys for crossed belt and then open belt. So, neglect the belt thickness and slip. So, neglecting the thickness of the belt and the slip consideration, uh, we need to determine the different radius of pulleys. We have pulley number 2, 4, 6, 5 and 3. For all these pulleys, we need to calculate what is the radius. Right. This is the problem statement. For this problem, they are given certain data and the data are here. Uh, the 160 rpm is for the driving pulley. So, the all the pulleys in the driving shaft is N1, N3, N5 and their speed is 160 rpm. Distance between the two parallel shaft is 720 rpm and N2, N4 and N6 are the speed of the driven shaft which is given. Okay. Then, the radius of the smallest pulley of the driving shaft is 40 mm. So, we have different speeds and different datas, right? With this, we need to cover the different radius for through the crossed belt through a open belt. In case if the problem is a crossed belt and assumption, we need to calculate the radiuses and what are the different radius and all we need to calculate. For an open belt, we have another consideration and need to calculate the radius again. Nothing here is to going for comparison, but still. Okay. So for the pulley 1 and 2, this is your formula. N2 by N1 is equal to R1 by R2. So the ratio of the speed of the uh, N2 by N1 is equal to R1 by R2. From this we need, we have uh, two different N1 and N2 speeds were given and the radius of R1, the first pulley, the minimum size pulley has been provided. So we are taking MM as MM here. We need not to change MM into meter and RPMs and all, we just substituting all those values and getting the radius R2 of 106.7 MM. And again for the pulley number 3 and 4, we have the similar equation whereas N4 by N3 is R3 by R4. In terms of R4, we are going to identify the R4 in terms of R3. So, R4 is nothing but 2 R3 by substituting the relevant data. N3 we know 160 rpm and N4 it is 80 rpm and substituting all this we will be getting 2 R3. And for a cross belt drive, this is an obvious of formula R1 plus R2 is equal to R3 plus R4 is equal to R5 plus R6. This is the formula for cross belt drive in case if you need to determine the different radius of the pulleys. Right? You just have the assumption. What is R1 and R2? What is R3, R4? What is R5, R6? For your clarification, we can again go to the diagram. We know that the pulley number 1 and the pulley number 2 is here. That is why R1 plus R2 which is equal to R3 plus R4 which is equal to R5 plus R6. Right? This is how the formula has been arrived. All the pulleys which have been connected by means of belts were identified with this formula for a crossed belt condition. This is the crossed belt condition. Okay. 
for that all the known data we can substitute that is we know only r1 which was 40 and we know what is r2 that we identified earlier 106.7 so substituting that we can identify that r1 plus r2 is equal to r3 plus r4 is equal to r5 plus r6 is 146.7 mm right right from here we have all we also we also know that in terms of r3 uh, in terms of R3, we know what is R4 is. Therefore, uh, considering R3 plus R4, this equation, we can write, rewrite this equation, R3 plus, instead of R4, I can write 2R3. Right? This 2R3 comes from the pulley number 3 and 4 reduction equation. Substituting this, we can identify what is R3 is. Now, with R3, we can again calculate what R4 is. So far, we have identified 4 radius pulleys and for the similar condition for the pulley number 5 and 6 we have to substitute that is n6 by n5 equal to r5 by r6 taking r6 in terms of r5 and substituting r5 plus r6 instead of r6 i need to put a 1.6 r5 that is the consideration and which is again the same 146.7 mm which is available here with that we can identify what is R5, from that R5 we can identify what is R6. That is how all the 6 radius has been identified on this problem. So for an open belt condition, we need to consider problem formulas also, right? For open belt again, the consideration for the first two pulleys, N2 by N1 is equal to R1 by R2. For the same condition, we have N4 by N3 equal to R3 by R4. With that we can calculate what is the length since we don't have any condition for like r1 plus r2 is equal to r2 plus r sorry r3 r4 r3 plus r4 equal to r5 plus r6 such condition we can only ap applicable for crossed belt drive for the open belt drive we know what is the length of the open belt drive substitute the formula and substitute all the data here uh, after substituting all the data uh, in C here X is nothing but a distance between the two shaft which was 720 mm available on the given data and all those data have been provided and you can take what is L is and substitute that total uh, effective length of the uh, open well drive equal to with the same formula on that we might be now considering instead of R1 plus R2 we are going to consider for R3 and R4 and again for R5 and R6 with that we are going to calculate by means of quadratic functions, right? We know what is quadratic function is minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac, right? From this equation, taking the positive value of 49.3 mm for the value of, for the radius r3 and from r3 we can calculate what r4 is. We know r4 is nothing but a 2 r3. Substituting all that, we can get what is R3 and R4. Similar for R5 and R6, we are going to calculate what is R5 and R6. R5 can be identified by quadratic function and R6 can be identified by the value assigned from R5. So this is how this problem goes. Just we can have the comparison. The variation will be very, very minimum for the open belt and cross belt drives. Right? That's it. And now next we are going to see power transmission. What is power transmission is uh, uh, power transmission by the belt. Okay. So directly I am going for the formula. Since we all know for transmitting the power there is three phenomena. One is the velocity. We know what is velocity is. That is pi d n by 60. Pi is the circumferential area. D is the diameter of the follower and the driving force. And uh, n is the speed in which in case if you have been considering driving pulley or driven pulley whatever the speed is that is pi d n okay then what about this slack side and tight side slack side is nothing but the top side and tight side is the bottom side where the slack side have some uh, cushion like of bending whereas tight slide is very very tight and there is no loose or there is uh, effective contact between the pulley and belt can be achieved right the formula for the power transmission is p is equal to t1 difference in two tensions t1 and t2 are the two different tensions t1 is the tension on tight slide t2 is the tension on slack side i already told in the tight side there is have a very effective contact length therefore t1 would be higher 
for the t2 it is simply it was loose uh, somehow comparing to tight side the slack side is very loose and very uh, fitty on that case uh, t1 minus t2 uh, in with respect to velocity velocity the unit is meter per second the tension the unit is newton therefore this formula for work done newton meter per second where one newton meter per second is one watt we know newton meter is joule joule per second is watt hence power is equal to t1 minus t2 into velocity the unit of the power is here watt right and now we are uh, we have the different formulas again uh, right yes this is uh, another problem a casting uh, weighing 9 kilo newton hangs freely from a rope which makes 2.5 turns round a drum of 300 mm diameter revolving at 20 rpm so the other end of the rope is pulled by a man a human uh, the coefficient of uh, friction is given as 0.25 and what they are asked to determine is to the force required by the man and the power to raise the casting this is the uh, requirement from for the problem so we all the known data have been provided here force required by the man can be identified here and power to raise the casting has been given here with that we can proceed to the problem here uh, we have been seen the formula for power transmission as t1 minus t2 into velocity and here we have some different formula that's because here This is ratio of driving tensions for the flat belt drive. For the driving tensions, we have the ratio. Uh, uh, finally, the formula may be 2.3 log of t1 by t2 is equal to mu theta. We can also rewrite this equation as uh, t1 by t2 equal to e power mu theta. So, taking e power on the other side we can have 2.3 times of log that is why we have took 2.3 log of t1 by t2 is equal to mu into theta mu is nothing but a coefficient friction value theta is angle of contact and these data will be provided and very importantly here we need to take theta should be in a radian in case if they have been given theta of 30 degree 30 degree you need not to take you need to convert the degree into radian that is into pi by 180 you can convert it and you can get what is the radian is right now now we can come to the problem yes So this is the two different tension t2 is nothing but a force required by the man and the rope makes 2.5 turns which was given here okay 2.5 turns round the drum therefore the angle of contact we can take 2.5 turn in case if it is taking theta is equal to 2.5 times the 2 pi right pi is 180 degree 2 pi is 360 degree therefore 2.5 times the entire wind up will be considered as 2.5 into 2 pi which is equal to 5 pi radian with that we know the formula 2.3 log of t1 by t2 which is equal to mu theta which is equal to again 2.3 log of t1 by t2 t1 is given as 9 uh, 9000 and we don't know what is t2 is and mu is 0.25 coefficient of friction here they have given therefore mu is 0.25 and theta phi pi we have been identified here uh, with that we can uh, substitute that uh, uh, 2.3 log of t1 by t2 is equal to 3.9725 and uh, this multiplied 2.3 will be coming uh, as a dividend for on the right side therefore the value will be 1.71 
so now taking uh, remove for removing the log we need to take a natural log out of here so t1 by t2 is 51 for removing the log we need to go for anti log it, we should take anti log after taking anti log we now have the equation of t1 by t2 is equal to 51 from that we can calculate what is the tension required by the human to